And welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And on this podcast, we are now going to look at what happens if we have uh, we, we, on the previous uh, podcast we've been looking at what happens if you have a a good and then you have a a real world event that changes and we've been running that through the model and and we did lo- lots of videos on those and now we're going to look at what happens if we have two real world events that change so we're going to have one real world event that's going to change on the demand side of the market and one real world event that's going to change on the supply side of the market so so let's get at it uh, my good is going to be laptop so that's going to be my good and we're going to then look at each one of these real world events separately and 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 look at how they uh, are going to affect either the supply or demand side and and therefore change uh, the market for laptops so so let's start with this one a, a decrease in the price of tablets so my good is laptops and this is going to be a decrease in the price of tablets that's my real world event so I'm going to say let's see if, if tablet prices go down uh, more consumers are going to want to buy tablets instead of laptops so my determinant is going to be and I'm going to use some shorthand here change in the price of related goods and and I believe these goods are substitutes okay I mean maybe for 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 some people maybe a tablet and a laptop or complements but but I think for most people for the market at large the good the, the goods are considered to be substitutes so that's how I want to analyze them how how does most of the market see see these goods so this is going to be change in price of related goods substitutes because for most people they're substitutes they're going to buy tablets instead of laptops so the demand for laptops as a result is going to shift into the left so the demand curve is going to shift into the left into uh, D2 now I don't want to talk about what happened to price and quantity yet because first I have to go look at what happened over here, the other real world event. And that is an increase in the price of plastic. Okay, so plastic is used to make the laptops. So that's going to be on the supply side, that's going to be a change in the resource price. That was one of our determinants. Change in the resource price. So plastic is a resource that is used to produce laptops. Now, if the plastic, the price of plastic goes up, it's going to become more costly to produce laptops, and that's going to cause the supply curve for laptops to shift in to the left. So the supply curve is going to go to the left and as a result of that we are going to end up with a new equilibrium right here where the new supply curve hits the new demand curve and uh, that for sure is going to cause the quantity to go down we're going to get a decrease in quantity now we talked about on a previous video um, the price we don't quite know what's going to happen to the price. I mean, the way that I drew it, it looks like price would go up a little bit, but that just happened to be how, how I drew it. The demand curve shifted to the left, but it could have shifted even farther to the left, and that would have changed where the equilibrium point was. The supply curve could have shifted farther to the left. So I talked about that in, in another video. I'm not going to get deep into it, but just keep in mind here, that's why price is going to be indeterminate. The way I drew it, Looks like the price went up, but you might have drawn it differently and the price would have gone down. So we have to say here, uh, price is indeterminate. I'm going to use a question mark to indicate that. Price is indeterminate. I, I cannot say what's going to happen to price without knowing the magnitude of the shifts for supply and demand. And uh, the quantity, that definitely goes down. Okay. We definitely have a decrease in quantity. We can see that here very clearly. Uh, quantity is going to fall. What do I call that on the demand side? Well, the demand curve shifted and it went left. So that's a decrease in demand. The supply curve shifted and went left. So that's a decrease in supply. Okay, so that's what we do when, uh, when two curves shift. We take the good. We take two real world events. We, anal- we, we identify the determinants on both sides of the market, shift the curves accordingly, and then come up with our final answer. It's been another podcast with uh, Mr. Hagen. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next podcast.